Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello everybody. So how is everyone doing today? I hope everybody is doing great, right? Okay. So I hope everybody paid attention to the submission process. And don't worry if you have missed it. We will have it again at the end of the class. So you can go through them again. Okay. All right. So what are we going to learn in today's class? In today's class, we are going to have another session of coffee painting. And we will learn how to paint silhouettes. So what is silhouette? Silhouette is a dark background. Okay. It's a dark outline of the subject against a lighter background. You have all drawn silhouettes before unknowingly, but today you will get to know what exactly is a silhouette. Okay. All right. Excited for today's class? So we'll just go through all of the materials that we need for today's class. Just keep in mind, you should have all of them. Just have a check. Okay. We'll just go through the materials that we need for today's class. Okay, is everybody able to see my screen? So what all do we need? First, we will need a board, okay? And then our paper. We will need some coffee for our painting. We will need some brushes, all right? And we will need the two containers in which we will mix the coffee in different amounts. And we will need a cup of warm water. And along with all of that, we will need a pencil and eraser. Okay, everybody just check whether you've gotten all of these materials or not. Just keep them ready, everybody. We'll get caught up in 30 seconds, everyone. Just keep all of the materials ready. Okay. Just check whether you're having all of the materials. <coughs> Okay, everybody ready? Shall we move on? Okay. So first we will take our two containers. Okay, first take the two containers 
and mix the colors up first. All right, here we have the two containers. Take out your coffee. Okay, use a spoon if you have a jar of coffee. So in one, we will pour lots of coffee and in the other, we'll pour less amount of coffee. Okay, just see the difference in the amounts of coffee and just the opposite with water. Where there is more coffee, there should be less water. Where there is less coffee, there should be more water. Just see, this one I will add more of water because it has less coffee. See, so much water I have added. And to this one, I will just add a little bit of water. Just a little bit, that's all. See how little bit of water I have added to that. Then just take a brush and mix up the coffee nicely so that it dissolves nicely in the water. Remember to use warm water, otherwise your coffee will not dissolve. It will be left in clumps. Okay, that is why I have told use warm water only. All right, get the mixing process done everybody. First, get ready with the mixing process. Everybody mix the two kinds of coffee and just be ready. We'll just give time for everybody to catch up. Just mix up the two coffee containers. The amounts of coffee that I said, less coffee will have more water. More coffee will have less water. Just remember this and just mix up and keep the two containers ready. Okay, everyone ready now? Okay, so take out your paper and take out your brush. We will first move on with the painting. We will first paint the background. Okay, so see here. Take your paper. This is the paper on which you will paint. And take the light container. The light container means one that is having more of water. Okay, that is the dark container. We won't use that. Okay, we will use the light container which is having more water and just dip a thick brush into it. Just dip a thick brush into it. Wet the brush first. First just wet the entire paper with water. This is just similar to when we had used watercolors, right? First we used to moisten the surface, dampen the surface and then we used to apply the color. So similarly, just apply water first all over the paper. Apply water all over the paper. Okay, just dampen the paper. You can see I'm just applying water. I have not yet touched the coffee. Okay, once your paper is damp, once there is lots of water on the paper, just dip your brush into the coffee and start applying it all over the paper. Just apply it blindly all over the paper. You can see the color will spread faster because you have already applied water. Since you have already applied water on the paper, the coffee that you are applying, it will spread faster and it will be light in color. So till now, what did we do? We have just taken the paintbrush and we have first just applied water all over the paper. And next, we are using the light container. That is the container that is having more of water, less of coffee. And we are just applying the coffee from that container all over the paper. Okay, just blindly paint it all over the paper. That's all. This will be your background.
okay so nicely cover up the paper with the coffee like this okay everybody just complete the background first those of you have already completed just allow it to dry for some time and keep your pencil and eraser ready okay keep your pencil and eraser ready and allow the painting to dry for some time allow this background to dry those of you who have not completed just complete the background first <coughs> We'll just wait up for everyone to complete. Okay, is everybody done with the background? All right, now take out your pencils. <clears throat> Keep the coffee container aside and take out your pencils, everybody. Okay. So we will make the drawing of a branch. So just see, we we'll start from the left hand side like this. And we'll make a branch like this. I hope everybody is able to see it. Everybody is able to see the pencil markings. I'm drawing it faintly. Once we put the coffee color in it, it will automatically darken. Just draw a nice thorny tree branch like this with lots of stems. Okay, first draw the first complete drawing the branch, everybody. <coughs> Complete the branch, everyone, first. All right, everybody completed drawing the branch. We will move on to the next part of the drawing. Okay, so see what else we have to draw now. So here on the branch, we will draw two birds. It's very simple, just one round body like this for the head. 
and a body like this. Like this and one tail. Okay. Similarly, one more bird. Like this, one round head. Then like this, the body. Okay. And then the tail. So like this, you have to draw two birds. Everybody complete the drawing first. <clears throat> Those of you who have completed the drawing, just keep a thin brush ready. A thin brush ready and keep your dark coffee container ready. Dark coffee container as in the one that has less of water and more of coffee. Keep that ready and keep your thin brush ready. All right. Everybody finished drawing this? Okay. Okay. Now take your thin brush and take your dark coffee container. The other coffee container where there is more of coffee, less of water. Take that. See this coffee container and a nice thin brush. Just dip your brush into it and start coloring up. Start filling color into all of the branches like this. Just start coloring all of the branches, the birds, okay? Start filling them up with color. Remember to be neat with your work. Use a thin brush. If you use a thick brush, your branches will not come out looking good. They will be thick and not neat. So just color all of the branches like this. Okay. Color up the birds also now. Remember, use the thin brush, otherwise, your work will not be neat. Okay. Same for the other bird.
okay so everybody complete the branches and the birds first before we move on to any further decorations complete the branches and the birds it is pretty easy right pretty easy yes just have to color it in just have to fill it with colors and remember to use a thin brush so that it looks nice and neat Everybody complete it till here first before we move on. Okay, so now for the next step, we will be drawing some leaves. So how will we draw the leaves? Just see, it's very, very simple. Just take that thin brush only, dip it in the coffee and just make some leaves like this. Just little shapes like this. <clears throat> you don't need to draw it with a pencil, directly draw it with the brush. Just make some leaves like this. On all of the branches, make some leaves like this. Okay, so make little leaves like this on all of the branches. Everybody complete making the leaves before we move on to the last part. You're almost done with the painting. We just have the last portion left. So everybody just complete making the leaves. Okay, don't worry, we'll wait for everybody to catch up. I will just explain what we will do in the last step. So as you can see in the top part of the picture where we have painted the background, after the coffee has dried out, some water marks are left, right? They are making the picture look not neat. They are making it look a bit dirty. Okay, so what we will do in the last part, we will just give the finishing. That is, we will use some more coffee, some of that light coffee and some water and we will just fade away all of those watermarks so that our picture looks nice and bright with no unwanted marks here and there. You can see at the top of the paper when the water has dried out from the coffee, there are some marks like this, some rough marks. We don't want that. Okay, so we'll be taking care of that in the last step. Everybody just complete the leaves fast. Those of you who have already completed, you can get back to your light container. That is the container that you had used first to paint the background. Take out that container. Okay. And take out your thick brush. Take a nice thick brush. All right. So just see how we will be making the 
changes to the background. Everybody ready? Okay, so just take that thick brush, dip it in water and just place it over those marks. See, as soon as I'm placing the water over those marks, the marks are fading away. You can use dark coffee also if you want to give it a nice cloudy look. Otherwise, you can use the light coffee only if you are not very sure. See, I have taken the dark coffee from here. Those of you who are not very sure about using the dark coffee, you can take the light coffee. And then using the water, I will just fade it out. Just keep dipping your brush in water. Take more and more of water and just fade it away. Just fade away all of the lines. So see, now we got a nice cloudy look. <coughs> okay, so that concludes your painting. Everybody, this last portion is optional. If there are too many watermarks on your paper, only then you can use it. But if in case you don't have any watermarks at all, you might opt not to do this also. Okay, this is just to make it look a bit more vintage. Okay, it will give a nice cloudy look to it. It will look like a vintage, like an old painting. Okay. Yes. So I hope everybody enjoyed learning something new, right? So what did you learn today? You learned how to make the background first and then subsequently the drawing so that your drawing becomes the silhouette. Silhouette is the darker, the darker object against a lighter background. So see here your main object is the branch and the birds. They are darker in color than the background. Okay, so this is called a silhouette painting. And along with that, what else did you learn? You learned how to fade away the watermarks with the help of water and coffee. Okay, same techniques you can apply when you're using watercolors also. Okay, all right. So all of you who have attended the class and who have put in the efforts and made this painting, I want to see all of your works in the submissions. Okay, remember to submit your work. And those of you who have missed out on the submission instructions, don't worry, we'll have it again at the end of the class so you can go through them once again. All right. Okay, so I hope everybody enjoyed the class. In the next class, we will go to more advanced level of painting and we will learn some other new technique using coffee only. All right. Okay. Okay, everyone. Thank you for joining. See you all again in the next class. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. We are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended, which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. 
Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at your 